Hi, friends. Hello. Wait, hold on. I have my, um, blur my eyes. <laughs> I was focusing very hard on what I was going to say to you. So happy whatever day it is that you're watching this. We are reporting live from um, still Delray Beach, Florida, but a different condo, a different couch. Every week we're on a different couch or a different area. We are embodying the definition of couch surfing exactly exactly <laughs> um so we are at our friend janice and andre's condo also known as trio um and they're not here right now but they've so graciously lent us their home to uh bring all of our belongings here because we are officially moved off seawind yes we have officially handed the torch over and we are no longer seawind's owners which is crazy. So for now, the coffee corner will be put on hold, not forever, but at this point, we are going to resume our regular Sailing Sea Wind episodes because we really don't have much more to tell you at this moment. We want to let the story now unfold in real time as it does in our this in the Sailing Sea Wind world. The multiverse. The multiverse. The Sailing Sea Wind multiverse. Yes. Multiverse. <laughs> anyway, so where can they find updates, real-time updates from now on? Yeah, so on our Patreon page, we uh, upload videos exclusive for our patrons, and they are more of a like real-time, uh, candid life update format. And we started them a while ago and stopped because we just got very busy and now we started them again. So if you do want a more behind the scenes, more intimate look into what it takes to move our lives to Central America, head on over to patreon.com forward slash sailing sea wind and check out our tiers and maybe you can become a member. Check out our tiers. <laughs> It really means a lot if you head on over to Patreon and become a member of our community as it really contributes to the sustainability of the channel continuing with these episodes and we love sharing the story with you. So um, head on over if you're interested or ask us any questions that you might have about Patreon and what's over there. Um, and with that, we hope you enjoy this episode. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you ding, haven't already. The <laughs> That's the notification bell. Yeah. All, All right. right. Bye. Cheers. Ah, back on the move. What a feeling. The sounds of sea wind gliding through the water, no other boats as far as we can see, and a wonderful welcome back into the land of adventure from our new dolphin friends. We are on cloud nine to say the least, and with a date night and delicious dessert here in Rock Sound, what more could we ask for? Mm. This is why we do this. Sailing has frequent extremes and often not much time in the middle. Katie and I often talk about why our lifestyle feels more balanced lately. <laughs> they love us. They love it. Is it the longer stretches of pleasant weather? Is it that we are getting better at cruising and knowing how to stay comfortable and happy? Surely we continue to grow as sailors, and we, namely me, are learning the art of slowing down and enjoying each moment without dwelling on the past or thinking of what's next. Our relationship has largely been built on the water, within the hull of our little sailboat. We both enjoy living in a boat more than a big house, because our backyard is teeming with life under our keel and constantly changing. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep, sweetie? Mm, pretty good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to go sailing? Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you excited to go to the Exumas? Yeah. Got the coffee brewing. Yeah. Got the life jackets out. Got a beautiful day on the horizon. We're gonna tow Gami today. This is uh, it's not something we usually do. This is kind of like a test. It's supposed to only be 
10 to 15 knots with a couple foot seas. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how she goes. Rock Sound is a pretty cool place. I like this place, it's kind of neat. Yeah. Nice anchorage. All these anchorages in Eleuther have been comfortable. Yes. All right, let's go sailing. <laughs> is that weird? One of, one of them, one of them. All right, let's go sailing. As you can see here, I am unstowing all of the running rigging in preparation to go sailing. I like to run each line out into a neat pile. This makes sure the line doesn't have any twists that could become a knot that jams in a block or clutch. Sea wind isn't ever more than about 10 minutes away from being underway. We like to keep her ready so that at a moment's notice we can drop what we are doing and move the boat because of weather or any situation that jeopardizes our safety. This is a big part of the reason we like to keep the interior of Sea Wind clean and clutter free. Here I am moving the pieces called stay sail sheet cars along their tracks into what I think will be the best position for today's sail. Since the forecast is calling for beam reaching, which means the wind will be perpendicular to our boat's length, the cars should be around the middle of the track for proper sheeting angles and therefore an efficient sail shape. Moving the cars isn't necessary to get the boat moving through the water, but if you want to have the best sail shape possible and in turn more speed out of your boat, it is a good idea to learn about sheeting angles and sail shape. Katie and I learned a lot of what we know from crewing on race boats on Lake Erie. Okay, we're, we're like pretty much right on top of it. Hey, when I raise the main mm -hmm. and then you're manning, I'll come up and I'll crank the rest of the anchor. Oh, okay. Because I'm right here. It okay. doesn't make sense for you to go all the way. That sounds good. Okay, we'll slack the lazy jacks off a bit to give you a bit of leeway. Because mm -hmm. I'm not steering, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. into the wind for you. Right. Yep. And you can just tighten those back up if you want, or we can do it later. Okay. Whatever. I put that over there for you. Okay, we're buried, but you know, we're. Okay. I'm kind of like right on the shank though, okay. so don't have any scope. Everything should ouch, be able to run as free as you need. So, oop. the main sheet is completely free. The wheel is centered. Nothing else is hooked up. I think you're pretty good. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna hoist. Okay.
Oh, reefing clutches, sweetie. Reefing clutches. Yeah. All three. There you go. Okay, that should be much easier now. There we go. That's good. All right, is it tight? It's tight. All right. Go ahead and uh, crank us up, BB. All right, here we go, we're falling off. Nice job, hon. I'm just rinsing off the anchor. Okay. All right, sailing off of anchor. Get this tucked in here. We're almost on our track out of here now. I'm gonna straighten the wheel out. There's four, five uh, feet of water beneath us. Finally making a little bit of way. Yeah, I know, I bet. What was that? Oh. Uh. You, what were you saying about the anchor? It was there, it was like, he was like, there's too much anchor, and there was like, clams, and like, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and stop. Okay. All right, Katie's just tidying up the mast. She's putting the winch away, the winch handle. We're doing a, few knots now. Do you want to tie up the anchor or no? Um, I can, I can tie it up, yeah. That wouldn't be a bad idea.
All right, that was a beautiful sail off of anchor. And we are just kind of sailing along at about five knots. We have this point right here that we have to jibe around. Uh, the wind is right here. And we have to go that way, so it's gonna shift onto the other side of the boat as we turn to the right, to the starboard. And then we're gonna sail out towards, I don't know if you can see, way out on the horizon, there's a boat out there. That's where we're going. And the ocean is that way and the Exumas are that way. And you guys are gonna watch this jibe from up here. And that's how you jibe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sailing. Can't get any better than this this morning. Katie's checking sail trim. How's it looking, hon? Flying, particularly aren't like flying. Yeah, it's tricky to get in to fly when you're sailing so far downwind for some reason. You're probably overshooted. I would say you're probably oversheeted still. Right, right about, right about there. If you think about it, like the luff, so those things fly backwards, the luff actually has to be in line with the wind angle. So that belly has to go out far enough, you know what I mean? I'm gonna lengthen Gami's bridle. <laughs> 
Hey, get your coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Great job. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna enjoy this and we'll see you out in the ocean. I would call this a pre-breakfast. A pre-breakfast. What do we have? Almond. Mm -hmm. Usually we have the lightly salty kind, but but this can be tuna. And uh, oranges, almonds and oranges. We've been loving this almonds and oranges breakfast. Yeah. I mean, we have like a smoothie or like a bigger meal later in the morning. Mm -hmm. But like, this is good when you're like, you want to get sailing. And you don't feel like getting in the making breakfast first thing into a sale or something, so. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Well, status update. We're uh, ghosting along at about three knots. We only have uh, 12 knots true. We're feeling about nine to 10. And sometimes the, the true wind goes down. You can see we're sailing so deep that the, the jib definitely does need a pull. It's kind of uh, just flogging there. We're pretty deep right now. Yeah, look at that. So I'm just watching the the mainsail closely in case the wind shifts and backwinds the main, it'll accidentally jibe over to the other side. I don't want that, huh? Gami's doing really well back there so far and uh, I hooked up the monitor. Once we get out there a little more, I think I'll engage it and see if we can catch a fish. We're gonna catch a fish maybe, yeah? A mahi, wahoo, what do you think? Yeah, I hope it's a wahoo too. I wouldn't be mad if it was wahoo. <laughs> we are going to the Exumas. Katie was just singing. So you felt the need. So I followed suit. What were you singing? You were singing the 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 wind song. Yeah, you're saying that we needed about four more. Go ahead, sing it again. I'm not going to sing on this. You were saying. The only time you'll get me singing is if you just like catch me in the end. I know. It's like photographing an eagle. Or, or a very rare mountain I lion. Say an eagle's not that a, <laughs> a, a very rare. A Siberian tiger. A Siberian tiger, yeah. <laughs> that little orange C right there is where we're gonna jive, and then that pink line right there that heads heads out off the end of the iPad is uh, the, the rum line to head out to the ocean. We're sailing more upwind now. As you can see, we are lined up with where we have to be to go out into the ocean here. There's shallow sandbars on either side of us. That's why we're making this, these turns here. And we're almost out into the Exuma Sound. We've never been to the Exuma Sound. Yeah, we, yeah, this is our first time sailing in the Exuma Sound. We never went out there last year. Yeah. Oh yeah. That top batten can never like get the shape that it should. There should be a little more roach in this main, but that's all right. It's all right. I'm definitely investing in sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. We're we were just talking about investing in those sunglasses that that have those wraparound side things, I think that would be really, really uh, beneficial to our eye health. 
we find even with sunglasses we squint all day and then we get a headache by the end of the day so. Seven knots. All right, status report. We did have to use the engine just as we were making that turn, the wind died and we were so dead downwind that the five knots true wasn't making any way. We had to line up with this channel that is fairly narrow to get out into the ocean. Um, but now we're doing it. Oh, how's our speed? Five knots. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think we have a little bit of out, outgoing current with us. Definitely, because we're just straight through the water. Yeah. Take you up on deck and show you around a bit. Alright, here we are. Absolutely beautiful. It's hard to describe this feeling. I can point the camera at as much as I want and try to bring you guys onto the deck with us. But boy, you know, the, the feeling is just, it really is indescribable being out here. Just ghosting along. There's my love. We are out in the Exuma Sound now. The sea state is eh, maybe two foot, maybe a, a three foot sometimes, but mostly just one to two feet. Beautiful sailing. The, the wind angle is just after the beam, and so we're broad reaching at between five and six knots. It's wonderful. We got between 11 and 15 knots of wind. Here's our trusty, trusty monitor that I'm learning more and more about every time I use it. It's sailing the boat right now, steering us on a true course. Gami is doing really well back there. It's the first time towing her in big water like this. We will not be doing this all the time, but we figured today would be hopefully benign enough to try it out. We only usually tow her in protected waters. I'll show you what I am looking at forward. Katie is uh, taking a nap downstairs. The thing about the monitor is that you really have to have your sails trimmed and the boat balanced well um, because if you have too much weather helm then this thing will be continually trying to correct for the weather helm and not and, and not being able to correct for the course um, 
and you do have some adjustment in the wheel down here to where you lock the monitor in when you engage it. And I'm also learning about the tensioning of these uh, of these lines, the control lines and the uh, steering lines. I'm loving it. We have a bunch of boats behind us. They're all sailing in different directions. So we're heading a little bit further south in the Exumas. Uh, we're heading to Shroud Key. We anchored there last year and there's a really nice anchorage that we'll be able to tuck into for the, the winds that are predicted for this week. Nothing wild is predicted so far, but I think it'll be a good place to stay for a few days. And there's a cool, there's a few really cool things to do on the island, so we're excited. miles from the inlet and about 9.2 9 miles to the anchorage. Um, there's the wind and the seas don't match. The seas are much bigger and swellier than the wind is falling. <laughs> like then the, there is wind. There's only like eight knots of wind out here and the, so we're getting like tossed around so we had to put the engine on for this last bit to get us in through the cut. We ate our emergency burritos, Amy's Organic Emergency Burritos, which we only had two of and they were an emergency because we were both really hungry and getting nauseous from hunger and our emergency peach rings, we had some peach rings um, and that made us feel better. 
and then yeah so we're just waiting to get to the anchorage and go for a swim and eat dinner but land ho did i do that right we're very disappointed in the fish right now not one bite not one nibble nothing not a thing i think we do have a little fish yeah something doesn't look like a barracuda no I think it's a wahoo. Really? Oh maybe. my gosh, maybe. <gasps> I think it's a wahoo. Did we got a wahoo? Oh, I don't want to let him go. No, 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 no. Don't start flipping. Don't start flipping. You got it? Yeah. Oh no! No! All right, we are inside the cut now. We have current with us. We're doing like eight to nine knots right now. Put the staysail away, but we have the uh, the jib and the main up still. I'm still salty about that fish. We just found out, we just reeled it in. The lure broke. There's no hooks on it anymore. So not only did we lose the wahoo, but the hooks are probably still in the poor thing. So, but anyway, here's the beautiful exumas. We are uh, slowly starting to slow the boat down. The approach to this anchorage is very shallow. Uh, it's a rising tide. We're about, I don't know, nearing halfway on a rising tide. So if we do hit bottom, we'll be able to float off with the rest of the tide. But as we, uh, as we approach here, I'm gonna slow the engine down and slow the boat down to like our minimum speed, basically just at an idle and hopefully we can sneak in here without touching bottom. This looks like a really beautiful anchorage and it feels really good to be back in the Exumas. We crossed over our one of our old tracks just about 20 minutes ago, pretty cool. That's the first time we've done that this season. Yeah, that we've crossed over yeah. one of our tracks, yeah. And in the interim, some Katie. This is a picture. All right, uh, we're just scooting along with two and a half feet of water underneath the bottom part of our keel. So far, so good. And we're approaching the other boats. Looks like we have a pretty nice spot picked out, and uh, so we should be anchored within the next 20 minutes. Half an hour, something like that. All right, Katie just let the anchor go. We're backing up. There we go. You you have 50 out? Okay. So I'm at about 1700 RPM right now. Are you letting more out? Go 
could just let out a bit more. Go to like 75. We are in the Exumas. <laughs> what do you think? Is it a good, good set? Oh, that was a really good set. I yeah. don't think I was expecting it to set that one, well, yeah. but it set really well. Yeah. Look at this lure. Check this thing out. There were two hooks on here. Okay. Now there are none. <laughs> oh. oh well, something really bit at that thing. You can see teeth marks right there. In here, in the lead, teeth marks in the lead. Jeez. All right, we're gonna clean the boat up and Jump in the water. <laughs> what an adventure. From sailing off of anchor across the Exuma Sound to where we are now in Shroud Key. We hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoy our videos, head on over to patreon.com to become a member of our Sailing Sea Wind family. Every pledge inches us closer to a sustainable future for our channel. And a huge shout out to our patrons. We couldn't do this without you all. Welcome to the Exumas, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Three, two, one. So we use a sea to stream, reef safe, biodegradable shampoo and body wash. Oh, that felt so good. All right, I'm gonna rinse off with some fresh water. Look at the sunset. There is nothing better and jumping in the water in a crystal clear anchorage, getting back out, getting all washed up, and then jumping back in. That is one of my favorite things to do. Would you say it's your fav one of your favorite? Yeah. On a warm night. Yeah, like, yeah, like this, yeah, on a warm night. All right. That is all.